Hey everyone, and welcome to another, well, normal challenge run, rather than custom challenge run, in the Binding of Isaac. Well, yesterday, yesterday I did a really easy run, but today I have a rather challenging run to make up for it, kind of. And basically it was suggested by Bill Griggs, and he said, I know you hate the purist, but do a purist run, and do it with Blue Baby if possible. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. You go to the challenges and when you select the challenge you go back to the character select and hover over the character so watch this it's oh, oh messed up I even closed the game by accident so we're gonna do this again and I'm gonna not mess up I just haven't done it in a while there we go challenges purist escapes okay I didn't find blue baby fast enough we're Judas but you see in concept it works uh, so let's see, where is Blue Baby? Two left, okay. It might actually just go there anyway. Uh, nope. Did I get it? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, my computer seems to load the game faster than before. Anyway, we're now doing the purist and we're Blue Baby. Just remember not to actually start, like don't hit enter or anything, or space or whatever you do to start with the character. You want to um, just hover. So... Oh, uh, that's what we got. Wow, that's really lucky, getting a soul heart from a random drop, like, really early. But, this is the purest, and I'll probably fail numerous times. Or, at least, once. I don't know, if I if I win this, I feel amazing, because that's just super unexpected. Basically, the purest is that there are no item rooms, and I have to beat Isaac. But just to uh, prove that, I will go through the whole floor. Show you that I'm not going to find any item rooms, and then I'm going to have to rely on boss drops and deals with the devil and uh, possibly libraries if I'm lucky. If I get a library, then uh, hopefully I would get the... Excuse me, my nose is itchy. Ah, tears down, that's just awful. By the way, Blue Baby is a bit stronger than Isaac. Uh, hopefully I'd get the Book of Shadows, in all honesty. Jeez, lots of money in here. Because that means that, uh, I, as I'm Blue Baby, I get more deals with the Devil. And having the Book of Shadows means that I could steal them. Because it's only Soul Hearts, it counts as normal damage, which means that invincibility prevents you from losing the health. And you can take both deal with the Devil items for free, if you so desire. And, uh, we're near the end of the floor have taken a bit of damage unfortunately I'd rather have the flat well actually would I rather have the flat penny because what am I gonna be using keys for I'm only gonna need a couple of them I feel like safety cap has more potential benefit in this run so as you can see no item room I don't even have cheat engine open so uh, that has nothing to do with it and uh, you know I, I don't know I'd love to go into the curse room but I also would not love to go to the curse room at all because as Blue Baby, it's just kind of a huge commitment to lose a piece of your health that is not easily replaceable by any means. So I'm just going to kind of go with what I got. I should, like actually should, take this and go to the shop. Because shops are actually going to be one of the only viable ways of getting items this run. Of course it's a portable slot. That's, you know, of course. Let's buy that soul heart, and why not buy the pill? See what the pill does? Range down. Not good luck today. Or this run, I suppose. Oh well. I'll make do, hopefully. If all my pills are terrible, it totally isn't worth it to have the uh, safety cap. But at the same time, it's really not particularly useful, unless I get to the chest, which is kind of unlikely. Uh, it's not really useful to have all the keys that I'll get from having the flat penny. So I don't really know. Oops. Wasn't looking at the game. Alright, what do we got? Widow. Widow shouldn't be too bad. Just dodge perpendicular to any of the Widow's advances on you and you're not going to get hit. Only real risk is the uh, spiders. Which I'm very deftly avoiding at the moment. I'm gonna kill this. Cause more spiders from every which direction is never a good thing. 
Yeah. Almost took a hit there. See, it's a delicate game of dodging. Oh, you... Oh, that was close. Oh, no. But note that none of these would... I can't get a deal with the devil on the first floor, but none of these hits that I'm taking decrease my chance of getting a deal with the devil because they're not red heart damage, and blue baby never takes red heart damage, which means that blue baby always has an increased chance of getting deals with the devil. But, wow, that was literally the worst I've ever done on Widow. It must be, at least partially, due to my decreased range and tears, which, in all honesty, are kind of a big deal. Might have been better off going off to the curse room before that fight, but... You know, what can I do? I'll just do it again if I fail within a timely manner. This is a challenge that I really don't expect to win, though. Like, really, really don't expect to win. We'll see. I'll do my best. Don't think, yeah, I, I was gonna say I don't think we're get, gonna get over there in time to not have it spawn a spider, but... I was under... Wow, a golden key. That's like a 1 in a 100 chance to replace a key as a drop. Uh, can we prevent it? Yes, we can. Ah, uh, nope, get it out of my face. So all the keys we can get, I guess, are useful, but other than, I mean, <laughs> other than being a number, we don't need them for item rooms or anything. And note that since we have the golden key, that's unlimited keys for this floor. We'll open all the golden chests, all of the locked doors, we'll open everything that might possibly require a key and see what happens. Probably nothing, but hopefully soul hearts. I really need to get something like Book of Revelations or the Mitre or the Relic or something of the sort. By the way, the flat penny is a 50% chance whenever you pick up a coin that you get a key drop as well. And we've just been winning those coin flips rather consistently at the moment. So, I mean, that'll be a thing if I die this run that I'll be sad to lose. But then again, it's really not a big deal because there's so much less to do with my keys. So it's kind of... it's a balance. Come on, suck less. There we go. Always gotta destroy the poop. It could have soul hearts or more coins that drop keys, which don't entirely matter. We already have five keys with need for very few of those. Like, we, we could almost end up set for the chest very shortly. Okay, there we go. I don't really have any reason to use a bomb for that coin, especially because I got my 15th cent there, and I also don't have a bomb to do so. Oh, I wish I hadn't gotten tears down, man. I hate trites. And the champion one that has double health, that's just evil. Anyway, this is cellar 2, so we're not going to get greed or anything. We're set to go in here and pick up the compass, which is pretty much exactly what I wanted. That will show us the general location of all uh, the icon rooms. So you see there's an arcade and uh, the boss room down there. doesn't show us how to get there, but usually you can reasonably well infer. <clears throat> or assume, or guess. All of which have different meanings, but kind of lead us to the same place in this case. So, there's that. Uh, let's see, today is... I wish I had a bomb for that, but I don't. Today is Dark Souls Day? Yeah. Sounds right. And that means I'm gonna record Dark Souls right after this video, probably. Bomb absolutely goes to the Tinted Rock. Well... I could go buy another key. Let's see what's in the arcade. Probably not entirely worth it. <clears throat> Well, I did get my money back. Yeah, I don't really need to play in here, because I was only really looking for the uh, fortune teller machine, which could give us some soul hearts. Not that I'd really expect it to. Ah, I thought I would undermine its enemy spawning, but I did not. I need damage and health. Well, there's health. I need damage real bad and health, but like that, that is somewhat alleviated in my concerns for the moment. <clears throat> it's only cellar 2, apparently. But pin is going to be an idea ideally easy fight. Shouldn't have any problems here. Shouldn't get hit, but unfortunately I don't have the health to um, support a deal with the devil, and I don't have invincibility to support it either, so I, I probably wouldn't take anything if I got it, unless it's mom's knife. Note every deal with the devil will cost three soul hearts. 
Every single one. Yeah, get out of my face. And, I mean, that that's a pretty significant amount. Especially compared to, like, one heart or two hearts for a normal character. But that's what I gotta live with right now. And Pin will finally go down shortly. Yep. We get the pentagram for two damage up. That's good. And now since I'm unable to even take these, Spirit of Night wouldn't be bad. Dead Cat. Meh. So since I'm not taking those deals, that means that I can get an Angel Room now. It's a 50% chance, and that's pretty good. You know, we've been winning a lot of coin flips this run. Anyway, Pentagram, good pickup. And remember that Blue Baby has a higher damage multiplier than Isaac, or Maggie, or Samson. At 1.05 rather than 1.00. God, I can't do that. I can't take damage. Uh, so that's rather than just, uh... Yep, gotta take this. Rather than just being... 2 damage up, it's 2.05. 2.1, rather. Don't worry, I'm a math major. So, uh, shops are also valuable because, as you can tell, we can buy those soul hearts, which are becoming a large part of our health. By the way, if I had, like, tons and tons of disposable health here, uh, it would be great to get hit a bunch of times and, uh, pick up all my coins again to get more keys, but I do not have disposable health, and because of my really still sucky damage, oh my god, and freaking keepers having inordinate amounts of health, uh, I'm pretty screwed. Oh, and now I'm dead. But it's okay, I'll just restart. <clears throat> like I said, I am having to clear my throat a lot, so sorry if that's like annoying, I just can't really help it exactly. There just seems to be something that wants to be freed, and it's not actually there, but it's still affecting my voice a little bit. I don't know, man. Anyway, the purest, not really, not really easy, especially with Blue Baby. Blue Baby runs are hard enough as is. Cancer, that's really good. That doubles our rate of fire. One of the best trinkets in the game, without a doubt. It's up there. Key, that's good. Oh, okay. You know. I guess because I spawned it where the uh, fire was before. But, you know, that's that's cool. I didn't really want a drop or anything. Alright, pin. Again. This one will go much better, ideally. Because we're shooting way faster. More than twice as fast, because remember we had that tears down. So, I, I don't know. I'm not worried. Not that I usually worry against pin. I feel like I probably had problems with pin when Wrath of the Lamb came out, but no! But... Now, no. I mean, same with the Widow, but then again, the Widow had to get nerfed because it was actually ridiculously overpowered. Box does give us uh, some health there. See what this pill does. Hopefully pills are good this time. Puberty, well, it's not bad, so that's good. Empress gives us Horror of Babylon for a room, but with a bit of extra damage because um, Empress is stronger than Horror of Babylon. And uh, that gives us damage and speed for a room. By the way, if we were to find... Horror of Babylon as Blue Baby here. That would be great because it's always active due to the fact that he never has red hearts. So that's one of the great pickups you can get with Blue Baby. <clears throat> like, always good rather than sometimes good. But it's up there, not necessarily on the level of the Relic or the Mitre, and um, those are of a higher level than the, uh, let's see the nail or the book of revelations but you know it's it's really good to have i'm not at shop level yet unfortunately like last run was going well for that and two shops in a row could take stuff uh shops are though very good to have just due to um soul hearts being in them frequently like very rather frequently unfortunately i'm not in that position so I'm not really going to deal with it. Though it might be worth it to go if I have um, 5 cents or more, just because that's how much a soul heart costs. And maybe I'm not getting the 15 cent item fine, but maybe uh, maybe I'm getting more health, and maybe that health is the difference between feeling like I'm going to die and feeling like I'm not going to die at all. 
basically. Anyway, the, the purist, definitely not fun. It's very hard, and Blue Baby is just like a nail in the coffin almost, because winning the purist with Blue Baby, ugh, I don't have much hope. But, note that, um, here's an interesting tidbit, pretty much, about um, those rooms, angel rooms. The way they're determined is that, you know how I said that since a devil room has spawned and I didn't take something from it? Um, the way it's determined is if that's happened at all in your playing session. So since I got a deal with the devil and didn't take it last run, I can still get an angel room this run. Which is interesting and positive. So I have a 50% chance of being able to get an angel room on this floor, the first floor where I can get that room legitimately. And that would set a great precedent. Though I'm not sure if it's always a coin flip, but like that still, that would set a great precedent to allow me to get more, hopefully. And that's... That pool has the relic and the miter in it, and they're not uncommon there. So that's like huge for Blue Baby. And then of course there's Sacred Heart, which is rather uncommon, Dead Dove. But you know, all these things are free, rather than costing three of my precious, precious soul hearts. So here's hoping, basically. Unfortunately, um, Duke of Flies is being annoying, but still, it's not a hard boss fight at all. And Blue Baby's small amount of added power, and mostly the Cancer Trinket, are allowing us to kind of plow through him. Kind of. Uh, ow. Stupid damage. But it doesn't actually matter. Oh my god. Other than the fact that I took damage, because... Oh my god! Uh, because that doesn't affect my chances at deals with the Devil. Which we still got as a deal with Devil. Oh well, um, we don't have enough health, wire coat hanger is a tears up, and then we have double tears. Guppy's paw would be literally worthless 100% of the time with blue baby, well okay, 99% of the time. There is a small chance of if you get a combination of items, you can get a red heart as blue baby, but meh. So that, that was a useless deal with the devil, now we still have the chance for an angel room on subsequent floors. Which again is huge because not only are the items generally good, scapular's even good because it gives us an extra soul heart. Um, it's a small pool, it's free. It, like, free. Freeness is the important one. What is this? The Emperor teleports us directly to the boss room. Don't want that right now because I'm kind of. I'm kind of digging having the Emperor. Empress, rather. Oh my god, I can't take all this damage, and I'd love to go to the curse room, but I can't really support such a such a decision health-wise. And, like, really, flies are being my downfall. Frickin' flies, man. It only takes two hits, but that is one more hit than I'd like it to. If I got the two damage up from the pentagram now, which again is 2.1 for Blue Baby, that would be great, but I'm not really counting on that too much, and if my poop would drop anything, freaking soul hearts would be nice, then that would also be quite, quite, uh, quite a determining factor in my longevity. Oh my god. Don't know why I didn't dodge there, that was my own fault. But still, this is just not, not a good time, I would say. I would pause it. That's P-O-S-I-T, not P-A-U-S-E it or P-A-W-S it. Yes. Oh my goodness. I mean, cancer is really a huge boon. I'm not going to deny that. We're getting plenty of money drops, but I need soul hearts. I need freaking miter and relic. Oh my god. Oh my god. God, I'm gonna die in this room? I don't really need keys, you know? Oh, oh my god, I thought that was it. Thank you for not giving me any soul hearts. I'll give this one more go if I die. Just to give you guys some more of my mispleasure, displeasure, sadness, misfortune. Ah. <sighs> Uh, no soul hearts. I need freaking. You know, it's funny that I did a regular run with Blue Baby, except that every time I got hit, I got teleported out of the room and I still made it to Satan. That's funny. Because if I could just not get hit every room, 
I mean, I was invincible technically, but if I could just not get hit every room, well, this wouldn't be a problem. And you know, I'm probably doing a little better than I was in that run. Yeah, that run, I was just like, all right, let's get down to business, basically. Oh good. Okay, that was fine. Still no soul hearts. Please, please help me out. Well, if I manage to get hit on this room, I should probably just quit this game forever, you know? You know? Uh, yeah, why not fight the boss? And who is it? Fistula. Let's use the Empress. And then we can go take the Emperor, I guess. Anyway, now our damage is pretty great. Wish we had uh, this all the time. But remember, even if we did pick up the Horde of Babylon, which is the essential effect that this item, or card, uses, uh, we would not have this much damage. We would have kind of significantly less. Okay, so we get health up, that's good. And uh, I would love to take either of those items, like, really, really badly. Pact would give us um, two soul hearts back. Mark would give us one back. And they're both damage up, and one is tears up, the other is speed up. As well as that damage up. It's just, they're good, and they'd be great to have. Yes, I'm exploring here because I'm a crazy man with a death wish or something. Ugh. Speaking of death wish wishes, that made me think of, um, I watched the first episode of Mad Men, like, last night. Skeleton Key is hardly even worth it this run. Not fighting all those runes. Uh, yeah, I watched the first episode, and you know, they were talking about people having death wishes. Wow, that's just great. Thanks, pill. I now have no health again, as I've received a bad trip pill. That's just... that's sad. Can't catch a break. What needs to happen is I need to get an angel room on the second floor with, um, Relic of the Miter. Miter would be better, but the Relic is very good on its own right. I say that the Relic and Miter are better than the Nail and the um, Book of Revelations because you get the, like, their effect triggers more frequently and they're passive. So you can have both at once and then the Nail or the Book of Revelations if you wanted, but like they, they're, they're independent of your spacebar item slot so you can have something amazing like the Candle, which is far better than either of those items in my opinion, uh, either of the spacebar items in my opinion and pretty much every other spacebar item in the game, except maybe the D6. Like, honestly, that's the only thing that I think is even, like, arguably as good as the candle, spacebar item-wise. But that's my opinion. You're all entitled to your own. Oh, now I'm dead. All right, let's do this one more time. We've got a library and a shop, but probably... Well, I, I can't say probably not going to get to either, but I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't get to either. Oh no, don't do that to me. Alright, this is the last one I'm going to give it. Last one being last try. Oh, of course it's Famine. Famine will give us a cube of meat. Cube of meat will rotate around this block. Enemy tears damage any enemy it comes into contact with and stack with later cubes of meat to gain other effects. But, this is really annoying. Don't want to fight you, Famine. I don't want to fight you. We could be friends. Oh, that was a terrible dodge. It's okay. I can't get a deal with the devil on this floor. So, that all works out. No, no, you stop what you're doing. You're welcome to charge. Actually, I mean, well, now it didn't matter that he charged because he didn't kill the pooters. But I, I am preventing him from spawning enemies by causing him to charge. Alright, so now he's doing this thing. Just quarter circle dodge. Should work every time. Now I need a bomb for the tinted rock up in the corner. Tinted rocks are like absolutely vital when you're playing Blue Baby because they can give you soul hearts and, you know, rather frequently do. Like, you know, near consistently. So uh, you need to be able to handle those, but... This is like the first one we've seen, second one we've seen all video in three runs. And of course the way Tinted Rocks are spawned is uh, there's a magic tile selected for each room. Oh my god, a good pill. It's like actually revolutionary. Uh, there's a magic tile selected for each room and if a... Excuse me, if a rock happens to spawn on that rock, on that... If a rock spawns on that space, it's a Tinted Rock. Oh my goodness. 
I really do hate trites. I hate them so much. You shouldn't be able to jump that far. You should. Wow, what a t what a tease. Um, you should dodge perpendicular to them the same way you do with um, Isaac's fork. Literally worthless for us. Only handles red hearts. Uh, you should dodge perpendicular to them much like you do against Widow, but uh, I'm terrible or something right now. And I'm blue baby, and just the purist is not not particularly doable. So like I said, no keys, no bombs, no, no coins even. Not really going well for us this run. Not that any of them have, so we're abandoning this tinted rock and going to the basement too. Crystal Lost increases the size of the floor by four rooms. Oh god, I thought I was going to get hit. You get out of my face. Come on, come at me, bro. Ha. Thought you had me. Jeez, they're just like aggressively flying right now. Still no soul hearts. It's honestly ridiculous. Uh, the cube of meat will give us a bit of protection from flies. It will kill them all if they get close and end up touching it instead of us. So that's a positive. And that bomb was a positive because it cleared up some space for us to actually maneuver and uh, have angles to shoot stuff. Get on my face. Uh, nope. See, this is the this is another thing. While I agree with a few of you that have been commenting saying um, that you don't like particularly overpowered runs, like the one I did yesterday, but then there's also this where I have literally nothing to help me, and it's borderline impossible. So you know the the, the challenge runs I like the most are the ones with a good balance between challenge and fun. So like this isn't super fun really, it's just not. Because I'm really underpowered and nothing's going for me in a way that helps me win. And I really just have no chance of victory. Um, I, I guess I'm gonna take Monster Manuel. I guess. Oh, what I should do, and oh my god, if I don't die in this room, what I will do is take Anarchist Cookbook to blow up that Tinted Rock, of course. Um, jeez, what, what was I saying? Challenge and fun. So this is challenging, but not fun. A run where I have a little more power or, you know, a way to get some health here, if we're talking about this run specifically, would be fun. As well as challenging. You know, doable is part of the good things. This is not particularly doable in most situations. Who is texting me? Why would you ever text me? Stop it. Okay, so we get the small rock and a soul heart. So that's really good. Oh my god, three texts. This is ridiculous. I hate my life. No, I'm kidding. It's not that terrible, but it is. Anyway, Monster Manuel spawns a random familiar force. Usable sometimes. Small rock is two damage up, uh, one tears up, and one speed down. So, generally, it's everything I want in my life. That's a soul heart. That's very nice. Monstro is also a pretty nice pull. Uh, and, yeah, challenge and fun. So you give a challenging run where I have a chance and I'm not, like, painfully underpowered or painfully fast or anything stupid that just makes the game harder without giving me an advantage. And then... <laughs> Uh, you know, not so overpowered that the game is pointlessly easy. Unless you just want to listen to me talk. Uh, shot speed up, that's whatever. It's kind of like a range up, and it also adds knockback to our shots. But meh. Could do much better. We do have three soul hearts now. We didn't even get to deal with the devil there, which is weird. Weird indeed. Because we're getting like the 25 and 35% bonuses from not taking damage on the floor or the bosses, even though like regardless of if I take damage, I get those bonuses because they only count red heart damage and we don't take red heart damage, as I've said a couple times. I'm just repeating myself at this point. But I don't know. Maybe this will be the run. I doubt it, but maybe. Again, would love to go to the curse room, but really can't justify that. Because Curse Rooms do have great potential benefits for Blue Baby, especially because the Soul Hearts are essentially health ups when, you know, he has no few other methods of acquiring health. 
but then they're not guaranteed from the red chest, so it's not exactly worth it to gamble on, especially when you're in the situation I am, where nothing is really here to help you out. Two bombs, I will open that chest then. No reason to go to the shop, I don't have enough money for a soul heart or anything, unless it's half off, which I wouldn't really count on to use one of my few not-so-precious keys. Red heart. Oh well. At least it only cost a bomb. We don't have any more tinted rocks, I believe. So we'll just head to the boss and go down to the next floor. Yep, no rocks in here. And, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to go any better. We do have a bit more damage, but I don't know if our DPS is as good as it was when we had Cancer. Our damage is the same otherwise as when we had uh, Pentagram, though. So that's a positive. And the Pentagram is still in the item pool, so we could get that too if we're really lucky. Uh, meat's a good pickup, because that is a small damage up at least. Um, it also has the health up element, though, so it's like a pretty great pickup. But, you know, I'm welcoming any health ups and any damage ups right now because, in all honesty, I have no other things to do. By the way, the um, chargers didn't spawn when I killed the um, fistula parts there because they were over gaps in that half. Like, even if it's spawning boom flies, they won't spawn if you kill the fistula parts over gaps. So it's a good thing to uh, know and possibly base your fistula strategy around in rooms where it's possible just to save you some effort. <clears throat> what are you? The chariot. That's good to have. That gives us invincibility and allows us to do contact damage. But the thing about that invincibility is, like I said earlier, we could steal deals with the devil if we have enough health to normally take them. So I'm going to take this into the boss room, hopefully get enough health to take a deal with the devil by then, and then steal whatever we can. Uh, I am going to use bomb here. And hopefully pick up good stuff. Well, it's not terrible, but could do better. I don't quite have enough money for the shop yet, but then again I kind of do because soul hearts are really all that I need need from the shop. But it's always nice to be able to be prepared for that 15 cent item. I'm just kind of looking for the boss room right now. The sooner I get there the more health I have when I get there and hopefully it's a boss that gives me uh, health up. Well, now that won't even help me have enough health. So, I don't know what we do now. We could go to the shop. It won't be Greed, because we're on Caves 1. Greed can't spawn yet. So that's reassuring. I'll finish a couple more rooms, hope for a soul hard drop. Chariot, again, allows us to steal stuff. So my little unicorn has a bit of added value for Blue Baby. Oh my god. Almost had all that dodging. Like, it was going really well, and then I just wasn't fast enough. So it wasn't entirely my fault. Oh god, I thought I was going to die there because... Yeah. But we made it, sort of. We have another key. Just looking in there, I'm probably not going to do that because I don't really have the health that I can really handle it. So I'm going to go to the shop right now. By the way, I didn't think I'd get hit overall in that room with the Gazing Globins, but... Uh, it sucked. No soul heart, and not enough money. So we're looking for one cent. Because um, that that coin purse could be the difference between life and death here. I'm... Ugh, I mean, I could use the chariot just to do damage against the boss. Oh, delightful. But I do want to save it for the deal with the devil that I certainly won't be able to pay for anyway, so why save it? Oh god, I almost died there because the bomb didn't do what it was supposed to. Oh god. Stop that wrath. Okay, now wrath is dead. I have a bomb here that I don't really care for. I mean, I kind of do, but I don't want to take it and then come all the way. Actually, I think it's better to have. So screw it, I'm keeping Mr. Boom. First time for everything. God, this is just... Ah, this is bad. Not much of a chance. I am going to use my bomb bomb for this rather than Mr. Boom because Mr. Boom is more damaging. Uh, now we're going to go get that coin purse and hope for the best. Full health would be pretty optimal and relatively likely. So we'll hope for that. And then, you know, health up's not that good. 
Uh, tears up would be great. All of the ups would be great right now, really. Health up. Now that's health down, that's fine. Speed down, well that's no good, range up. Well, we got a bit of health. And the health down has its merits to carrying now, considering the fact that I uh, could lose the health and it'll be a health up again. But again, I'm sticking with this whole chariot business, cause just in case. Still, it could be an angel room and that'd be awesome. Cause then that's free anyway, and it's more likely to be something particularly helpful for my situation, which is just being blue baby at all. But this boss doesn't seem to be going terribly. We are extra slow. So that's kind of a, a minus rather than a plus. But Cube of Meat doing huge, huge work for us in preventing us from taking damage from all the shots from the peep that we normally would be right now. We would be dead right now if not for the Cube of Meat, I'm pretty sure. Certainly by now. Stop, peep. Stop what you're... No! Almost got hit again. But that time it wasn't Cube of Meat, it was just that I wasn't fast enough to get hit. God... Why are you jumping so much? Anyway, terrible, terrible. Speed, really good, but also really not good. So since we're a little faster now, that's, I mean, that's good. And we're gonna head back to that health down pill and it'll be a health up pill now and, well, I think it will. And then we can have a little more health, feel comfortable with ourselves and go down to the next floor and die, essentially. Health up, indeed. Unfortunately, it's a health down overall, so that doesn't that that means that we can't like hope for more pills and there'll be health ups. But oh well, that's what we got to deal with in our lives. Yeah, I feel impending death, but gonna keep trying, keep going. Ah, uh, yeah, down is a possibility. Okay, Larry Jr., just disconcertingly cheat and nearly caused me damage that I can't afford to take, especially against an easy boss like you. Oh, God. This game has no consideration for my feelings. Oh, and then it gives me a soul heart. Okay, well, I half forgive it. So now I'm back to uh, full health, essentially. But that doesn't really make me feel any better about myself and my chances. It just means that it'll take me a little longer to die. Come on. Okay. I didn't notice if we got Curse of the Lost or anything, so this might be four extra rooms. But then again, it might not be any extra rooms, and it might just have a lot of paths. Alright, Flaming Hopper. Do your worst. Wasn't too bad. Yeah, my voice is kind of starting to hurt. Gluttony could give us a health up. But it'd honestly be better if you just dropped a couple soul hearts. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, my voice is starting to hurt, that's what I was saying. Well, one soul heart is better than none. It's the same as the health up, though. So I, well, first off, I need water, but second off, maybe I'm just actually finally getting uh, something wrong with my throat. I don't know. I have been doing commentary nearly daily for a long while now. Quite a long while, a few months. I haven't missed a video. Well, an Isaac video. Since uh, sometime in December, that's pretty good. Yeah, I know, I have Mr. Boom and I haven't used it. But that is okay. It's better to have and not need than need and not have. There we go. One soul heart. Of course you're not going to be generous, but, you know, at least it's something. Again, the shop is technically sort of worthwhile due to the possibility of it having a five cent soul heart. But also not exactly worthwhile because... Well, I mean, it's kind of worthwhile anyway because I don't really need these keys for anything, and I have five of them. Ugh, oh, it's terrible stupid damage. But at least our health situation is looking up a bit. Now all we need is some some damage. And a little bit more speed, because oh my god, my speed is terrible. Two more bombs, not bad. I guess I'll go to the shop anyway. Could be greed now. 50% chance. Success. See what this pill is. Tears down, not balls of steel. I was hoping for balls of steel. It's like two health ups for Blue Baby. 
So now we're firing less frequently, but it sort of puts us back where we were, almost. <laughs> because remember, we do get the tears up from the uh, small rock. Quit, quit, quit doing what you're doing. Now I'm down to two hearts. Taking damage from clots, how silly. Yeah, everyone thinks they're called gishes, they're called clots, okay? Just, just, they're called clots. But yeah, I shouldn't be taking damage from that room at all. Then again, I am slow and couldn't get to the sides fast enough, and then the the champion I was just like, eh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be inconveniently placed. So now we're almost dead as usual. Seems like I can't really escape that. But let's just go fight this boss, and it's pestilence, and I'm not too happy about... Oh, that was terribly placed. What am I... I wanted to shoot it at him. But then I kept it against a wall like a dummy. So I mean, yes, part of the fact that I've failed three times, well, two times, about to be three, is that I'm not playing the best, but most of it is Blue Baby, honestly. If I were playing another character, maybe not Eve, pretty much definitely not Samson, but if I were playing any of the other characters, I probably would be doing fine. It's just this gosh darn health situation. And I mean, yeah, I haven't gotten much health up, so Judas might have been a problem, but I, I feel like red hearts are just so different from soul hearts when you can only have one or the other. And I, I guess technically I can have both with red heart characters, so, you know, they, they have that advantage as well. <clears throat> so anyway, we got our second cube of meat, which means it now still does everything that it did before, but it also shoots along with us like a familiar. So it's a good it's a good upgrade, direct upgrade. And unfortunately, freaking Spitty decided, eh, why not actually shoot you for once? I don't usually shoot at you, but I figure it's the best time to do that when you're pretty much guaranteed to die. Whatever. Boss challenge room could be huge, potentially. Squeezy would be like the best thing to find in there. Boss challenge room, of course, gives uh, us an item from the boss pool boss item pool and we have to fight two bosses for it one health up why not I guess I'm just gonna fight monster and Larry jr. so I'm pretty confident in my ability to succeed in this fight this pair of fights I have been wrong before still we do have the extra added tears and damage from the ball of meat we've got and they're also easy bosses, so I feel like this is probably going all right. Oh my god, that was such stupid damage. And note that all of these Larry Juniors do have three segments. The third one's just hidden in the second one. Which is why they've all, like, exploded once and then not died. Yeah. So anyway, we came out a half a soul heart ahead there. And we got a key. Delightful. Note that Blue Baby can always go into any challenge or boss challenge room at any time that he is alive. Unless you have that rare situation where you have red hearts. Otherwise you're set. So we're going to go on to the next floor and probably die there. And uh, yeah, next time you have me do the purist, don't have me do the purist. We went through this before in the Let's Play. It took me like three videos. And I was playing Isaac. Far, far better than this situation. Just because instead of three soul hearts, I have three red hearts. And I probably had much better luck regarding, um, I mean, deals with the devil and angel. Deals with the devil that I could actually take. Angel rooms that maybe appeared at all. I don't remember the run. It was a while ago. But still. Alright. Screw it. Monstro 2, that was good. This is going to be easy then. Probably. Okay, there we go. Now the cycle is uh, set. We're going to be able to do this. Just got to do this over and over until he finally dies, which is going to take a while in all honesty. Considering how bad our damage is. I mean, yeah, we've got 2.1 damage up, but th that's not a lot compared to where we want to be. 
and our tiers are, you know, normal, essentially, which means they need to be better. Ah, whatever. This fight is going to go fine. We get a health up, but we can't take this deal with the devil. The nail, that would be good. But in fact, it is not. Because we can't have it. And even if I did the invincibility, I wouldn't be able to uh, grab that. So, that sucks to be me. The nail might have been one of the only redeeming factors that we could have gotten for this uh, potential victory. Rather likely defeat, but, you know, it would have prolonged it a bit. Yep, this is our first time even past the caves. Which is, I mean, sad, but kind of expected. I do need bombs. I'm looking for tinted rocks, mostly. Tinted rocks would be pretty huge. Oh, that's not going to hit anyone. Well, that sucks. No, why did you turn around? You're not supposed to turn around when I do that to you. You jerks. Stop it. Don't even think about what you're thinking about. Don't do that. Leave me alone. Did we get the shot speed up this run? I think so. Oh my god. God, I hate Faceless Knights. And I'm getting stuck on rocks. Can't even hit this Faceless Knight. Jeez. Worst run. I mean, I don't know if I've done worst challenge runs. I might not have. Tears down. I'm going to go ahead and not take that, you know? Seems like a weird choice, maybe. But I assure you, it is in my best interest. And wow, I'm taking damage against Knights that just should not be taken. <clears throat> Well, this is likely the very, very end. We have enough range to handle all three of these dudes. See what's in here. Not an item that gives me health, so I'm going to go ahead and not take it. Mr. Maws, they could kill me, but ideally this should just be relatively simple. Oh my, oh my god, cube of meat, ball of meat, you have saved me. Can't go into the curse room. As much as I would want to, could want to, should want to can't really do that with no health. I'd die as I walked in. Possibility of soul hearts from the poop of Laird Jr. Unlikely. I'm pretty sure that spawned poop rather than uh, poop that just is in the room naturally does have a lower chance of drops. So that comes from, you know, your poop item or also Laird Jr. Pretty sure that. Yeah, but no tinted rocks, nothing helping me here. No health ups, no nothing. I mean, I guess we did get a health up, but like, ain't nothing trying to be my friend here. Okay. Oh good, it wasn't even there. Anyway, that was, that was an attempt at the few attempts at the purest with Blue Baby. Please leave your custom challenge run suggestions in the comments and I'll do the ones that I like the most or think would be the most entertaining to watch. Please leave ones that are more balanced but still challenging, if you can. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was pretty long to make up for the pretty short of last time. We go for a nice average, about a half hour. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.